that's the new toy we got for planting corn. So uh, it was a little pricey, so it better work good. Hey everybody, this is Ranger Rob, and welcome to the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel. And it appears Shuri's got a new bike. <laughs> is that what this is? It's a scooter, right? Sure. Uh, how do you, where's the seat? Yeah. So what's this do? It is supposed to help seating. Seating. So it's a, what's this say on the side? A garden seater? It's a garden seater, a, a cap, capin? Huh. I don't know. I'm pretty figuring it out. <laughs> so this thing is supposed to has different discs that you put in for different seeds, and it drops the seed at the required amount as you roll it. It also makes a row, right? Yeah. So. And. So this here is for your spacing to um so to help keep you going straight mm -hmm. <laughs> there's the kickstand you don't fall off your bike they call it a row marker so oh. you can set it at however wide you want your rows okay and then the seeds catch with this they go through here fall down Go down through here and drop down into here, based off of the disc you put in here. Huh. Then this here is supposed to dig the depth that you want. Yeah. And then this little back plate here then covers it up. Yeah. And then this big wheel goes across the top of it, it's which is supposed to... Smash everything. Well, <laughs> tighten it down a little. All right. That's the new toy we got for planting corn. So, uh, it was a little pricey, so it better work good. Well, guys, it's the next day, and uh, gosh, we got a pile of things going on. First thing, I left all the garages open. Good job. Second, if you haven't noticed, we had last year, we uh, over a year ago, we had new siding on, which was the new um, hardy board stuff. Well, that was quite the endeavor, but we never had the trim done. So up above here, you can see where they added some wood and also have a uh, the old color, which uh, we want to turn to white. So we have a guy that we've hired that's going to clean underneath our uh, eaves uh, with a pressure washer. I think he'll be here today. <clears throat> then he's hired to uh, do all of our trim, and this house will be complete as far as siding and the painting. And uh, the pump house over here, too, uh, has some touch ups that need done. Uh, so yeah, we'll be glad to get that so, chapter closed. And uh, then the other thing is, uh, turns out uh, when you own pigs, apparently <laughs> you need to trim their nails. <laughs> well, our pigs are getting pretty big and we definitely, uh, one of our girls, um, some of their uh, uh, hooves need to be trimmed. So, uh, after becoming an expert on YouTube, <laughs> uh, sent some notes out to uh, some of the IPP group, uh, pig groups. Didn't get very good answers other than watch some videos and buy some clippers. So, which is what I did anyway. So apparently I am now an expert. <laughs> and uh, you wanna turn a 200 pound pig on their back? That ought to be interesting. So uh, yeah, we got that going on. And then also, since the guy is going to be painting, I have to go to Sherwood Williams and pick up paint. I've got the code numbers, all that stuff. So I'm sure that's going to cost a pretty penny. And then I also need to build up our uh, our dog supply for do um, dry food. 
Uh, so we'll be going to town and also picking up uh, at least two bags of uh, dog food. So we always have some in the back background, you know, prepped up a little bit. So, but the first start, my first day out, oh, first part of my day here, um, I've got to check on our babies, chickens, and then uh, uh, open up the greenhouse because it always gets so warm in there. So, yeah. Let me get some chores done. Well, I got the baby chickens fed and watered up out here with the pigs really quick. Uh, and uh, filling their waters. Boys have been fed already. Kind of watching, taking a good look at my pig's uh, hooves. It's uh, Zoe, uh, not Zoe, uh, Zelda. <laughs> uh, is the one that I got a clip. She, uh, I got her to lay in her belly yesterday, meddle with it, but one of her, uh, uh, I'm not sure what part of the uh, hoof it's called, is crossed a little bit and I need to trim that and that should help her problem. And uh, like I said, there isn't a whole lot of people who reached out saying, yeah, that's what I do. Anyway, so uh, looks like I gotta do it myself. I think we'll wait till the weekend because it's a two person operation. And uh, I got clippers I ordered, should be in in a day or two. And uh, yeah, so <laughs> get to learn something new. Well, this is a follow up on some things that are going on here. Walla Walla onions are doing really well. We really got a weed around the outside here. It's growing like crazy. But uh, we also showed you that we planted some peppers on the NFT and they seem Oh, uh, one's, one's not too happy, but they all seem to be uh, okay. Yeah, they're looking good. So I got four of them here. And then we put one green bean down here. And it seems happy. You never know on the first day or two when you plant these, uh, how they react. We'll have to watch that fourth plant a little bit. But yeah. And... uh we got a lot of stuff to move off the propagator and I'll probably load up some of it on the NFT here uh, on the other side. I don't have very much on it right now. But uh, yeah, strawberry that I planted on there is doing fine. Kind of an experiment. But yeah, looking good. NFT seems uh, to be working okay. And uh, I hope that pepper at the end makes it. Uh, like I said, a lot of times the plants kind of go into shock when they first get in here because they're used to soil. But yeah, we got to load some stuff up today. All right, guys, I just got back from the store. Bought uh, two bags of dog food. I always like to have backups. And uh, had to buy paint for the painters coming. That was a little pricey. And uh, today, I've got this unique part. And this is what my, I need for uh, uh, the water system up above. The little watering systems that are in the ground are mounted on a three quarter inch um, male thread. So what I wanna do is pull those out, put this in with the plastic tubing. I'm gonna grab some here right now. Uh, and use that to tap into for our watering systems for all the corn and everything. But getting this part, I couldn't get it locally. I had to order it, uh, especially from Amazon. So I'm gonna grab myself a little piece of a half inch pipe, attach it to see how well it works, see if this mounts on there properly, uh, and uh, see if this will work. This is the this is the magic of making the whole thing work. So if it doesn't work, I gotta start from scratch. All right, so this is one of the, was underground uh, sprinklers. Thanks to our pigs, they brought this one to the surface. Anyway, uh, uh, we're gonna take this apart and see if this will install on it. So if it does, that'll be awesome.
and that came out perfect. So uh, uh, all the rest of my uh, water systems are in the ground except this one because of my piggies. But I needed that to tap into the half inch, which in turn I can put all kinds of different fittings on it. So very happy. Just in case that didn't make much sense to you. Right here where all these flags are, are uh, sprinklers in the ground. And instead of having to dig them all up, all I have to do is kind of clear it a little bit, unscrew that head, put that new one in, and uh, I'll be able to put 90 degrees on there and go across and hook up uh, uh, drip tape or anything I want through the watering system we already have here. And uh, I just needed a one adapter. I was able to find the male hookups, three quarter inches, but female, I had to special order those. So that test went well. I'm just gonna leave that as it is because I need to put a 90 degree on there and take the water across. And uh, this is actually two channels. There's a channel along this side, channel on the other, so I can distribute um, I don't have to uh, keep the water pressure up really well by just doing certain sections. So uh, yeah, but I need to make sure that part worked. So we're trying to get ready to uh, plant this for corn this weekend. But I got to get a water, um, two main watering uh, areas done here um, before we put the corn in. So. I've got to have that done this week. Hi guys, it's the next morning. And uh, what do we got today? Well, it's close to being a sparkling day in Central Oregon, so that's good. So uh, this morning I've got some uh, honeydew melon scraps for the piggies. Uh, i got to do my typical check on the baby chickens and then open up the uh, greenhouse and get the airflow going well. Uh, that's kind of important right now. And uh, plus we've made some modifications in there, so gotta check on that stuff. Added more stuff to the NFT hydroponics. And uh, yeah, so just checking on stuff. Well guys, I checked on the babies. They're doing fine. I raised their lamp a little bit. Noticing uh, they've been staying towards the back away from the light more which means they don't need as much heat and they're starting to get the little pin feathers. So I uh, got to keep an eye on them so they don't get some wise idea to uh, jump out of the holder here. But yeah, we'll keep an eye on them. In the meantime, I think I'll leave this open for fresh air and uh, work our way to the greenhouse. Well, I stopped in at the greenhouse here. It looks like a freaking jungle. Uh, I have got to harvest some uh, uh, spinach. I think I have someone coming over tomorrow to pick up some spinach and then after that we'll do a big harvest and uh, start freezing stuff. I did uh, start tying up a few of the uh, tomatoes. Um, as you can see here, um, they're getting to the length now where uh, I just want to make sure they're supported. And uh, so we'll get some over here too. So we'll get the strings up here. We use the little rollers in the top. And trust me, you'll need these because they'll get as high as a roof. And then we'll start doing the tilting. So, wow, look at all of that. That's a lot of spinach. And the water's running right now. I did add an extra plant to, the, to this. Uh, this is a Cherokee purple. Uh, just to see if I could get away with two plants. I put an extra plant in this one too, just to see how it does. A lot of experimenting this year, but gosh, look, look at all this food. All right, let me get this opened up in here. It's getting warm. And just to follow up on the NFT hydroponics, uh, I did take a lot of uh, lettuces off the propagator, put them onto the uh, NFT. I uh, also thought I'd check the NFTs over here with the new peppers. They're all doing good. And then way down at the end is my rattlesnake uh, uh, beans. They're doing fine too. So 
pretty happy with what I'm seeing so far. And my little strawberry is doing all right. And the one in the greenhouse is doing all right. So, uh, yeah, I've been kind of contemplating putting strawberries down this whole NFT just to see what happens. Uh, this week or weekend, I'm going to pick up more peppers, get them rolling. And, uh, yeah, pretty cool stuff. All right, guys, let's work our way out to the piggies and give them a little treat and get them fed. I also stopped over here by the uh, towers, checking on uh, the new plants I put in. Uh, I see leaves happening, growth, <coughs> most promising. So uh, yeah, we'll just sit back and wait and see how they do. Happy about that too. All right guys, I'm out with the piggies. Uh, should be getting my shears today. And my uh, little bit smaller female, one of her uh, hoofs need to be trimmed, which I've never done before. But I've watched a bunch of videos, talked to a bunch of people, generally have an idea what I need to do. So as soon as we get that tool pie tomorrow, when Shuri's home with me, uh, we'll uh, get Zelda on her side, see if we can't trim that back foot a little bit and make her more comfortable. In the meantime, we got some goodies for our uh, critters here. I try to put these in the bowl, but then they fight. So I tend to have to put them on the ground. So, uh, and I gotta split them with the boys and the girls. So, uh, no matter what I do, they ends up on the ground, even if I put them in the bowls. So let's give them their treat. All right, guys. Looks like they uh, got their treats. And uh, they seem pretty happy with that. Got some boys over here yelling at me. See what we can do for them. Hi, boys. Just want some treats? All right, here we go. And they seem pretty happy with that too. All right, so let's uh, start the process of getting them fed and watered up. Well, the pigs are all fed, the girls are all fed, they're getting some new water. Boys are all fed over here, they're happy. They'll get some more water as soon as I'm done with them. And life is good. So it's been one of those doodad days where you kind of do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. and. Uh, so I have been uh, unloading the uh, propagator and been uh, loading up the propagator is what I use to start our hydroponic plants. When their roots are long enough, they either go on a floating raft in the greenhouse or on the NFT hydroponics. So uh, I also, well, so Here's some of the new ones we've planted, mostly lettuce. My strawberry is actually doing really well. Uh, I did pick up some more peppers at the store today. So I've got those loaded. And uh, kind of excited about that. I still got more to put on the uh, hydro on the uh, NFT system here, but uh, we're getting there. Uh, I did get my first uh, did I put it out here? My first uh, uh, Swiss chard is in the floating rafts. I wanted to make sure that they're uh, got a little bit more growth before I put it out here. Last year, my Swiss chard that was as big as elephant ears. Uh, I also have another pepper out there that the, the roots weren't quite long enough. So I put them in a floating raft to let them get a little longer before they come out here. So, yay, then we'll get that done. Then I took the tractor over where we have a bunch of old uh, uh, logs, some old fence posts, some old fencing materials. I think I found enough to do a, a, a trellis over here in the new area. So I got all that laid out and I'm gonna wait for sure before I uh, install that. Also thought I'd take the time to uh, remind you that for me today, uh, we're doing a podcast. So uh, we have Dale uh, Wiley, Amy from uh, Dragonfly Farms, myself, and uh, I think tonight's subject, which this video is out, so this will, the, the podcast will be done by the time you guys see this video. Uh, I think we're going to talk about with everything changing, 
uh, all the different things happening with inflation, prices, all that stuff. Uh, what changes have you made in your lifestyle? And what changes have your kids made? What changes have your fam different families and what changes have you seen your neighbors uh, take uh, uh, people with jobs and stuff? Um, how you're spending money for gas? How you're buying food? Uh, what changes have you already uh, done to make up for what's been going on in the last few months and it's only going to get worse so anyway should be interesting podcast we invite you guys to join us and please feel free to get into the chat and say hello and uh, add to the conversation all right guys so we got the propagator thinned out a little bit here and uh i did get some roasting peppers couldn't find any at the store so i'm going to start from scratch two different types of roasting peppers right here and uh Probably take a little while to get those uh, started, but better late than never. So one of the last things I was going to show today is uh, out here in the field, uh, found a bunch of uh, fence posts I'm going to use here. We're going to drive them in back here. I found this fencing that I think will reach and do that. Uh, that way this thing isn't costing me a dime. And uh, so I have a nice trellis in here. I'll be able to put tomatoes and possibly more green beans or our cucumbers if we want to. So yeah, I thought it'd be kind of fun to have a trellis out here and see how I can do in conventional gardening. So even though you see me do hydroponics, I still like to do my best at a conventional uh, uh, practices just in case uh, things get tough, may not be able to have the electricity to run pumps or something. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, may as well learn some new skills. So guys, I'm gonna wrap up the video right here. I wanna thank you for watching. Please, uh, if you would, would you please like the video? Please share the video. And don't forget to subscribe and then hit that little bell. That'll remind you when our videos are out. So uh, we typically try to launch our videos at seven in the morning. Pacific time and uh, tonight we have our podcast we uh, any of our podcasts we'd love to have you join us and uh, say hello and participate in the uh, conversation and talk to our guests I think we're going to have uh, four or five guests tonight so it should be a fun fun show so puppies are right here they just got their dinner got full tummies and there's like hi dad quit talking to the camera and pay attention to me would you yeah all right, guys. Well, hey, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye now. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.